So we're going to build a three times table today and I'm going to do it on a line so it gives us a visual prompt to hook it into. So I'm just going to pop the divisions on like this. So we've got these to write our facts onto in a minute. So we're going to be looking at the three times table from zero groups of three to 12 groups of three. We're also going to link it to triangles. So we've got something to think about how many threes we've got. So if I've got no triangles at all, then I've got no sides. So that's our first fact here. So we're going to put our zero on the line like that. And if we've got one triangle, we've got three sides. So our first fact up here is one times three equals three. Pop that on the line here. So we start to build our facts on the line. So now if we've got two triangles, we can see we've doubled the number of sides we've got as we've doubled the number of triangles. So two times three equals six. We pop that on the line there. So we're going to carry on building the table now using the language of if I know something, then I know something else because. So the next step would be if I know that two triangles have got six sides, and I double the number of triangles, then I know that four triangles will have 12 sides. So if I know two multiplied by three is six, then I know four multiplied by three is 12 because it's double. Using that same principle, I can now double again. I think, well, if I know that four times three is 12, then I know that eight times three is 24, because I've doubled the number of triangles, so I've doubled the number of sides. I change colours then to think about another little family of facts. So we're now going to look at 10 times 3. We're using my place value. If I know that 3 tens are 30, I know that 10 multiplied by 3 is 30. So that gives us that fact there. So now instead of using doubling, I can use halving. If I had 10 triangles giving me 30 sides. If I have, if I halve my number of triangles, I've now got five triangles, which means altogether I've got 15 sides. So this one can go in here. And I change color again and start thinking about three. So how am I going to find out my three times three? I could count on three from six here and just add three but I can also think of it as combining. So if I've got two triangles giving me six sides and one triangle with three sides, if I put them together, I've now got three triangles with nine sides. So I've combined these two facts here. Three times three equals nine. And I can pop that on my number line. So I can now go back to my statement here. If I know, 3 times 3 is 9, then I know 6 times 3 is 18 because I've doubled again. So that gives me 18 here. Going again, if I know 6 threes are 18, then I know 12 threes are 36 because I've got twice as many triangles, so I've got twice as many sides. Seven's often a tricky one. So I think we can support this by using an array. If we picture a three by seven array, here we go, I'll sketch one just here. There you go, just a rough sketch. There we are. So that's three by seven. I can think about what do I know that can help me calculate that? Well, I know that two threes are six, and I know that five threes are 15. So if I split my array here, I've got 15 in this area, and I've got six in this area, giving me 21 altogether. So three times seven, seven times three equals 21. There we go. So our next one then, if I'm thinking about nine threes, I can use the same principle and think which of these facts, which combination of these facts could give me nine threes? Well, if I've got five times three plus four times three, That'll equal nine times three. So five threes are 15, plus four threes are 12, means that nine threes are 27. So we can pop that one in there. So when I'm trying to calculate 11 threes, it's important to refer back to thinking about our place value, that if I know 11 is made up of 10 and one, 
then I know that 10 threes and 1 3 put together will give me 11 threes. 10 threes are 30, 1 3 is 3, putting them together gives me 33 for 11 times 3. So there we've built the 3 times table on our number line using the language if I know then I know, building on our known facts.